so for this question, it basically asks us to uh, uh, understand how PCR works and how the how the primer uh, user can be used to amplify some regions. How to use to uh, uh, analyze the results. So that's the question. Uh, so apparently, this is uh, an experimental design. So. <coughs> Uh, we want to pro, uh, use some PCR primer uh, to identify some genotype, uh, especially uh, uh, in this in this case is a wild type from a mutant. So we know those are some information given to us. So between primer two and three is five point five kb. Between one and three is 0.4 kb. So this is primer one, three, and two. So those are the mutants. The mutant want to you want the 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 researcher want to generate this insertion apparently in this region. So <coughs> we know the distance between primer one and primer three is. 5.4 kb. The distance between primer 2 and 3 is 0.5 kb. And the distance between 1 and 2 basically 5.4 plus 0.5 should be 5.9 kb. That's basically what I have here. I mean, it's like a uh, you go to say downtown is five minutes from downtown to I don't know say a restaurant you want to go is ten minutes. How long will it take you from Spelman to the restaurant? Basically, ten minutes by five. It's the same thing. Right? So here, from primer one to three, we ha we have five point four, and then from three to two is point five, and then from one to two is basically. 5.4 plus 0.5 is 5.9. So I go back to uh, and that should be this should be 5.9. Uh, and using primer one and three, and uh, notice those are all homozygous mutants. There's no. It, it's called a homozygous mutant. Basically, this when they generate. Most of the plants, they are uh, a multiple copy of chromosome. Uh, when it's homozygous, basically assuming every copy of chromosome has the same mutation. If heterozygous, that means the different locus may be different between wild type and mutant. Then the situation will be different. You may see multiple plants. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah, 59. Is that wrong? Uh, uh, let's pick that one uh, for now. Uh, it should be correct. Uh, and then that's the for the one and three because it goes to the same direction, that should be no uh, product. Using a given PCR parameter, using primer two and three on genomic isolate homozygous mutant, it should be produced. How the primer two and three? Let's be point five. Five hundred base pair. Is it five hundred base pair? Yeah, yeah. This is a simple one. Using primer one and two. On a wild type one, primer one and two on a wild type one will be, and um, this time the, the the problem is a little tricky now. So, oh wait 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 wait, this is one and three. Oh, I guess. The distance between one uh. One and uh, three. If that's in on a wild type, let me see. 
Is there a question check 10,000 KB? Yeah, 5.9 is the largest one, so it can be. I guess the question basically, <coughs> the distance between one and 3.5 is that in a wild type of mutant? Uh, I mean, my interpretation, this is in the mutant because the whole paragraph is discussing the mutant, <coughs> but it's not e explicit. My understanding this 5.4 is in the mutant, uh, unless the, the question was written said that wild type, but I don't think that part is a wild type. Because that's basically inserting here. Primer 3 is actually in the, in the tDNA insert. It shouldn't be a wild type. It should be in the mutant. So, okay. So. The next question is primer one and three in wild or one and two in a wild type. Basically here, one and two in a wild type. Well we know uh, from one and two in a mutant is five point nine and this insert is five KB. So minus that so no, that means the insert is is five five point zero KB. So in a wild type, that should be 0.9 kb. So be a 900, 0.9 kb. Using the using primer one and three. Uh, let me remind you I'm recording. If you are really happy, I'm, I can also call your name to say who is smiling. Yeah. Okay, the next question is uh, using primer one and three on uh, genomic DNA, uh, the plant in wild type. That should again give you no product. Now one and three is on the same direction, so this should again give you no problem. Uh, primer 2 and 3. Primer 2 and 3 on um, wild type. Is that a wild type of mutant? Wild type. Well, 2 and 3 are wild type, which the Primer 3 is only in the tDNA insert. A wild type doesn't have the one, this one. So 2 and 3 should also give no, no product. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I, I click the wrong one. Uh, no <coughs> product. Uh, on heterozygous using 1 and 3. Using a given tissue uh, primer 1 and 3 until I found. Heterozygous mutant. Oh, this should give two bands though. Can you can you check more than two two choices? Primer one and two. Primer one and two on heterozygous mutant. It should give two bands. Uh, can you pick more than one choices? Let me see. It should give a 5.9 and uh, uh, 900 base pairs. If it's heterozygous, basically uh, primer 1 and 2 going to amplify this region and this region. This, uh, at the bottom is 5.9, at the top is 0.9. It should give two bands. But that, this one doesn't give you a choice to pick more than one. Oh, what? <coughs> this is the 900 is the correct one? Oh, it should be two choices. 900 and 5.9. Yeah. So this is... This, this should somehow give you two, cho two, two choices, yeah. Using a given PCR primer, using primer 1 and 3 on genomically isolated from. It should be 1 and 3 
again it's no product one and three is still always no PGR product using two and three on heterodigous mutant now two and three on heterodigous mutant again only the mut mutant allele can give you a product so it that um, is still one band two and three is only this part will be amplified and two and three is 0.5 this one is still 0.5 so this should be 0.5 500. Okay, let's check. Oh, error. Uh, this is terrible. It seems like I, the, the whole exercise I just did has. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, 